on this episode of Canine Corner, it's all about Halloween. We'll be sharing some ways to have a ghoulishly great time with your canine companion. Plus, we'll be talking all about Halloween safety for our pups. And we'll introduce you to this adorable little guy who's looking for a forever home. All this coming up right now on Canine Corner. I'm Rhiannon Trutanich, your host for Canine Corner, the show that your dog will give two paws up. It's time for the spooky season. That's right, Halloween is upon us. My co-host Popeye Trutanich and I will be sharing some ghoulishly great ways to celebrate with your canine companion. And Jean Brusovich from Tranquil Pet will be here sharing some costume safety and Halloween safety tips. But first, let's meet some adorable rescue dogs from Kenmar Rescue. Kenmar Rescue was founded in 2008, and to date we've saved over 800 animals. Um, our specialty is small dog rescue, and we are in the Southern California area. We do home checks on all of our adoptions, and we drive to crazy places to get a good dog a great home. So all of our dogs are microchipped, and they're up to date with all of their shots, and uh, spayed or neutered, of course, and we also provide a care package for all of our adoptions. So it's kind of like a holiday when we come over and it's a big deal. So hopefully your viewers will want to either adopt one of our orphans or foster because we have a great foster program as well. Oh my gosh, Rhiannon, let me tell you about my new best friend. His name is Acton. He's five years old. He's 20 pounds. Corgi? Corgi and maybe a little bit of Lhasa. Anyway, but he's a whole lot of love. Loves to go on walks, hikes, camping, adventures, drives great in the car. He'd be great with a family that's active, that will take him on all new journeys. And I think with kids, maybe five and above would be a good um, age uh, to start off with. But we're just hoping that he'll be able to get a great family home because he is a great little guy. Right here, we have Millie. Sometimes we call her Bella, but she is a five-year-old uh, poodle mix and she is very affectionate and she likes to play with other dogs as long as they're a little bit bigger than her or not too much bigger but right around the same size she would do good with a family that is very calm um, that doesn't have cats she likes cats but she likes to chase them and we don't really want to know what happens if she ever caught them so you know she just doesn't really get along with cats so it'd have to be a, a non-cat environment um, but she likes to go for walks and she's very friendly and uh, she's just a good dog to have around she's very she's excited when you come home she does a little dance and she just is uh, a good companion we like her Rhiannon I want you to meet one of our cutest little friends his name is Bosom and don't ask me what that means but he responds to it He's about seven years old. He is a Coton de Toulure, which is very fancy for saying hypoallergenic French dog, and poodle mix. And he is um, 12 pounds, he's full grown. He loves to be with a human or humans that will just completely shower attention on him and take him for walks and be an only child. I think he would probably thrive in an adults only home that would um, have a fenced in yard because he does like to go um, wandering around for the occasional lizard or squirrel in the backyard. But other than that, as you can see, he's preoccupied with everything that's going on right now and he just needs a good home. Hopefully we'll be able to find him one. This is Brewski. We come up with some creative names sometimes, but he is a six year old terrier poodle. We think he might have some schnauzer in him but he's very affectionate. He likes to play with the other dogs. He loves to roll around in the grass and the dirt or wherever. He's just very active and very playful little guy. He would fit in with somebody that either has a dog or doesn't have a dog. Um, he just likes to be with the person. He just, he likes to show up to the party and just have a great time. He's very easy to get along with. He, he's a good eater and he likes to play with toys. So. He'd be a great 
fit for any family, really. If you are interested in adopting or fostering one of Kenmar Rescue's dogs, please visit KenmarRescue.org. Okay, so cute. Just think if you adopted one of those dogs, you guys could get matching Halloween costumes. I'll put the Kenmar Rescue link up one more time, just in case. Now, speaking of costumes, Gene Brusovich from Tranquil Pet is here to share some Halloween costume safety tips for our dogs. So Gene, Halloween is right around the corner and I know I love dressing this guy up for Halloween and I love dressing up with him too, but what are some uh, Halloween costume pet safety tips that pet parents should know this time of year? Well, the first thing is I think you should know whether your dog likes it or not. Now, I know that Popeye likes to be dressed in costumes. He, he's the star of the show. But you should also be wary of the fact that is it um, a toxic material. So it should be non-toxic. It should be a breathable material. There should be no tank dangling parts that they can um, pull and you know swallow, bite off and swallow. And it should not constrict their movement. So it should be, they should be easy to move around in it. When you talk about if your dog likes it or not, are there any signs that you can look out for to tell you either way? Or is it just like he's not taking it off? I think or? that, um, right. I think that if you put, if you go to put it on them um, and they, their ears go down, their body, I mean, they talk to you and they let you know by their body language. If the tail goes under, if they drop their heads, if their ears go down, if they look at you like, are you out of your mind? <laughs> those are those are pretty those are pretty clear messages. Well, I did bring some of Popeye's costumes with me. Could we try some on? Sure. And see, have a little fashion show. Sure, okay. absolutely. All right. I don't know. Should I let Popeye choose? I have different options. Um, Popeye has a lot of costumes. This mm -hmm. sadly is not even all of them. <laughs> so. Maybe we'll start with something, we'll start with something like this. Okay. This is Popeye's pumpkin spice Popeye costume. Pumpkin spice, okay. <laughs> so fabric wise, uh -huh. what, do you, what do you think of this? Well, this is a polyester, you could tell that, but it doesn't seem to be, um, it doesn't seem to be that it would be restricting. And I wouldn't put this on him in direct heat yeah. the sun but if he's wearing it in the evening or if he's got it on just for you know picture time I think you know I think that you know I think it would be okay like I said there doesn't seem to be any dangling parts and it does seem to be pretty um, can I have your paw here can I have your paw let's put your let's put your, let's put your paw through there there we go there we go there you have to get all the all the Velcro. Right, and then, yeah, so there's no dangling part, so that's a good thing. The hat. Now, he's used to wearing hats, so I would consider this dangling. Okay. But because he's comfortable with it, I know he's not going to bite that off and chew it. But that's something that, you know, some dogs will want to, like, push it off their head. Right, and, and that could be um, dangerous. And that could be dangerous. Generally, you know, people take their dogs to costume contests, mm -hmm. uh, pet parades, things like that mm -hmm. this time of year. How long? Would you say, generally speaking, is it okay to have your dog in costume? Does it vary from dog to dog? I think, again, it varies from dog to dog. I think it depends on the temperature. So again, if it's hot, this, like I said, this will be beating down on him and because it's not breathable. Mm -hmm. This is gonna cause him some, some, you know, they could end up with heat stroke at some point if it's very hot. And with the weather the way it's been, we have no idea. Yeah. Um, the problem with, with animals is we br breathe through our pores. Mm -hmm. They only breathe through the pads of on the bottom of their feet. Okay. They don't breathe through their fur and their skin. They just breathe. So this is gonna this is gonna be restricting, and it's gonna be holding in the heat. And so you may see the dog panting a lot more. So you just have to be very careful. And getting the costumes on and off themselves uh -huh. is uh -huh. a bit of a challenge. That I've you noticed. And you should be careful that you don't hurt them. And he's, like I said, if the dog is fighting you when you're trying to put something on him, yes. that's another sign to be careful of. He wasn't. He was like, okay, next. I got to try the grape because I okay. just love the grape. Okay. So this is a grape costume. Okay. Now, I feel like this one would be too hot. Right. Because it's got these big 
things on top of it. These, these big grapes on top of it. I guess it's a grape vine because there's multiple grapes. Polyester fiber, polyester fiber. Um, yeah, I, and I think anything you put on their body. Again, if it's cooler, that's fine. And if it's for a short period of time, you know, that's fine. Okay. But I still would be careful. Oh gosh, look at this. <laughs> and the hats. Okay. Maybe he'll. He really likes the hat. So would you okay. would you put it behind or would you put it in the ear hole? I like would put it, I would put the, well this one is different, so I would okay. do it just like that. Okay. Yeah. yeah, so he yeah, he likes the hats. But this would qualify as a but dangling this is, part. This is a dangling part. So okay. you need to be careful. Now again, it's your dog. Right. Not your dog, your dog, but you know people, you know your dogs, and if they go for the dangling things, Popeye doesn't. <laughs> I've seen him before. He just loves strutting his stuff in these different costumes. If your dog doesn't like costumes or you're worried about the heat, you know, we've had some really hot Halloweens the past couple years. Um, is maybe something like this okay or a bandana? I think the bandanas or they have those cute little bow tie type things that okay. have, you know, that are like Halloween decorated or, you know, the holiday decorations. Those would be fine. If you would like more information about Tranquil Pet, please visit TranquilPet.com. As a pet parent who loves dressing up her dog, obviously, these tips are so good to know. Jean will be back later in the show to share some spooky safety tips for our dogs for Halloween. But right now, we're going to take a short break, so don't go anywhere. There's much more doggone fun when we come back. <gasps> ah! Look at you. Oh. Hi there. We're necking. How long did it take you to do your makeup? I'm Tyler Haynes. I'm Mamie Perez. And I'm Zachary Downer. And we're members of the cast of Cats on Broadway. Each year, between six and eight million cats and dogs will enter shelters and rescue groups, but only half will be adopted. That leaves millions of healthy and treatable pets who still need homes. Only 45% of cats and 36% of dogs in American homes come from shelters or rescue groups, which are full of wonderful family-friendly pets. The Shelter Pet Project and Cats on Broadway have joined forces to encourage you to consider shelter pet adoption first when looking for a new four-legged friend. Whether you're looking for a quiet companion to relax with at the end of the day or a furry friend who's outgoing and ready to take center stage, there's a shelter pet out there who's perfect for you. Visit the shelterpetproject.org to find adorable, adoptable, curious cats and dogs near you today. Adopt a shelter or rescue pet today. Happy Halloween! Get it, Popeye? If you're worried about coming up with some festively frightful ways to celebrate Halloween with your canine companion, don't fret because Popeye and I have you covered. We also invited a few spooky special friends along to help us out. You might remember a couple favorites from last year and a couple new additions. Just to give you a heads up, they aren't big talkers. Now let's first talk about setting the stage for Halloween. You can have your dog help you decorate your house for the Halloween season. You can have your dog just hang, Popeye's very excited about decorating for Halloween, as you can see. We can have your dog just hang out with you while you're decorating. You can also get your dog involved in the decorating process by having some dog friendly Halloween decorations around your house. One idea is to have a cauldron like this and fill it with some bones like so, oops, I mean bones like this. Just some dog treats for your dog to have, you know, give him or her one every time you guys are hanging out. And it's just a fun way to get your dog involved in the decorating process. If you and your dog are social butterflies or social bats keeping in theme with the season, we have a couple ideas for you. One thing is to take your dog to a dog friendly pumpkin patch. You can let your dog pick out his own pumpkin Popeye is a pumpkin picking expert. Another idea is if you live in a dog friendly neighborhood, you can take your dog trick or treating. You might want to talk to your neighbors beforehand and see if they would be interested in handing out dog treats for the four legged trick or treaters. As you can see, Popeye is already ready to go trick or treating. You got to wait, Popeye. You got to wait. If you and your dog are the homebody type, don't worry, we have some great ideas for you too. 
One thing you can do is you can curl up on the couch with your pup and make some popcorn and popcorn and have a scary movie marathon with your dog. Another idea is you can invite all your dog's friends over for a doggy costume contest. So fun. Papa and I have attended costume contests in the past. They're a lot of fun. And having one at home is a great way for your dog to get some socialization in, yet still be able to relax at home. You can even give out a Halloween dog toy to the winner. How fun is that? So Popeye and I are all about the treat, not the trick. So you know we had to make some Halloween themed dog treats. These are called spooky sandwiches and they're basically like a peanut butter cookie sandwich for your dog. So yummy. You're just gonna need a few ingredients, water, canola oil, all natural peanut butter, white flour and whole wheat flour. You're gonna take the peanut butter, canola oil and water, mix it up really well, add both types of flour, knead the dough and then roll it out to about one fourth inch thickness. You're gonna take either like a circle cookie cutter or I used pumpkin cookie cutter and you're gonna cut out the little shapes. You're gonna bake those cookies for about 10 to 12 minutes at 350 degrees. Once they're cool, you're gonna take more all natural peanut butter and put them between two of the cookies making a cookie sandwich. So yummy and really even healthy for your dog. Of course, you should always check with your dog's vet before introducing anything new to their diet. But I think, I think Popeye's a fan. Now, I don't know about you, Popeye, but I feel more like a plumpkin than a pumpkin after eating all those treats. All right, well, I think it's time for these two pumpkins or plumpkins to head back to the patch. If you give any of these ideas a try, be sure to let us know. You can tag us on social media using hashtag Canine Corner Halloween. Gene Brusovich from Tranquil Pet is back now to share some spooky safety tips for Halloween. How can I keep my pet safe on Halloween night? Halloween is fun for children and adults, but it can be a nightmare for most pets. Um, the one thing is uh, at the front door, Everybody's coming, ringing the bell for candy. Most dogs are very house protective, and so they will be barking, throwing themselves against the door. I know my dog does. So you should keep them away from the door, maybe put them in a bedroom, make sure they have water, maybe put some, um, the television or the radio on so that they're distracted from it. Um, but just make a quiet space for them somewhere away from the front door. Um, don't leave them in the backyard. There's a lot of, um, there's some crazies out there that are going around that might, you know, if you don't have locks on your gates, they might steal them, hurt them. They might throw things over the fence to, you know, hurt them. So there's all kinds of things that you need to do for the Halloween, for Halloween night to make sure they're okay. Cats, um, if you have a cat, I would keep, if it's an outdoor cat, indoor, outdoor cat, I would keep it inside for like days before and days after because okay. there are some of those cults that especially if it's a black cat you want to make sure that your your pets are safe what halloween treats should i keep my pet away from candy candy is very toxic especially um chocolate uh dark chocolate especially um artificial uh sweetener xylitol is a big one that can um, hurt them they can also if the, if the candy's wrapped they can have some intestinal issues if they swallow the wrappings. Um, they could vomit, have diarrhea, um, have, you know, even go into a seizure. Um, if that is ingested, if, an, if a toxin is ingested, you should definitely call your vet first or if it's after hours, the vet emergency hotline. Please don't call 911 because while they may be sympathetic to your problem, they are not trained toxicologists and they can't help you. So if you can't, if it's after hours and you can't get your vet or you can't get hold of a, the, the pet emergency clinic, there are two other places out there you can call, which is the ASPCA hotline and the um, pet poison helpline. They will help you, but there is a fee for those. Are there any Halloween decorations my dog should avoid? Pumpkins, if you have your, your putting the pumpkins out, you're displaying real pumpkins. Be careful of the candles. Okay. It can burn them if they get too close. They can start a fire in the house if they knock it over. Um, if they eat a chunk of the pumpkin, while it's not toxic, 
If they get large chunks of it, it could block their intestines. What else should I keep in mind during the Halloween season for my pet? I've walked my dog in the past around Halloween and people are decorating their yards mm -hmm. and they have these big scary, you know, Frankenstein or different monsters. The dog doesn't know that it's not real. Right. And so my dog has tried to attack the yeah. the things that because it scares them. It's yeah. something, you know, it's something new. It looks frightening. Right. So those are just things to be wary of when, I mean, your dog needs the exercise. So just, you know, you just have to be wary of those things. If you would like more information about Tranquil Pet, please visit TranquilPet.com. If you have a question, contact us and we'll be sure to get you the right answer. Call us at 310-618-5762 or email us at caninecorner at torrentca.gov. A big thank you to Jean, and be sure to tune in next month. Jean will be sharing some Thanksgiving pet safety tips. Now, if you missed the rescue pups at the beginning of our show, or if you're anything like me and want to see the adorable dogs again, here's your recap. Acton is a five-year-old Corgi and Terrier mix. He is full-grown, crate-trained at night and microchipped. He loves going on walks and going for rides in the car. His favorite thing is to hang out with his human. That's why he would make the perfect companion. Millie is a five-year-old poodle mix. She is up to date on her shots and microchipped. She is a sweet and smart dog. She loves going on hikes. She can't wait to be your best friend. Bosom is a seven-year-old Cotone de Tuliar and poodle mix. Bosom would be best in an adults only home He's a very sweet dog and can't wait to meet his forever family. Brewski is a six-year-old miniature schnauzer and terrier blend. He's a very lovable and sweet dog. He loves to play and loves going on car rides and walks. He can't wait to have a human to call his own. If you are interested in adopting or fostering one of Kenmar Rescue's dogs, please visit KenmarRescue.org. If you want even more Canine Corner or just want to say hello or share an adorable photo of your fur baby in his Halloween costume, we always love to hear from you. Be sure to like our Facebook page and follow me on Instagram and Twitter. That's all the time we have today. Thanks for joining us here on Canine Corner. We hope that you and your pup have a spooktacular Halloween. I'm Rhiannon Trutanich and this is Popeye Trutanich and we'll see you next time.